What's up Lash fam? Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video has been requested. I am doing a video showing you how to use your adhesive properly. Um, too often lash artists either use not enough glue or they use too much glue. So I have two special techniques that I use and I teach in all my classes. I'm gonna be showing you guys those today. I hope this video is helpful. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in. Let's jump right into the video. All right guys, so here I'm using our Luminous Bond, which is a two to three second drying adhesive. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room. This is great for beginners or anybody who lashes a little bit slow, we're gonna be using this in the video today. I'm also gonna be using our 35 degree tweezer, which by the way guys, is restocking very soon. We have a whole new colorway coming. Um, this tweezer is amazing for volume lashing. Also classic pickup. Lashes I'm using are our pre-mates here. Uh, these are our, our 0.05s, and I'm also going to demo with our OG Collection um, volume fan trays here. So when we're talking about adhesive and how much or how little we should be using, it's important to know where the placement of that adhesive goes. So you're going to notice here I'm going to do two techniques, swiping and scooping. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before, um, but we're going to go ahead and demo that for you. So it's super important that you're not using too much adhesive because too much adhesive will actually close your fan and not enough adhesive will not do the job. So here I'm gonna demonstrate our swiping. Now we do the swiping technique when we want the adhesive to be on the back of the extension only. The benefits of this is that when you drop your extension on top of the natural lash, that you're not getting your glue on other parts of the natural lash that it doesn't need to be on. So swiping, your extension across your glue top allows for a clean drop on top of your natural lash. And there's two ways. So when I drop on top, I like to do the swiping. Now when I drop or apply underneath, I want my adhesive to be on the top of my extension here. So what I'm gonna do is instead of swiping to get it on the back, I'm gonna scoop so that it lays on the top of this extension. That way when I go underneath and apply, it is going to attach right below. I'm also gonna demo this for you guys on our doll head, um, but I want to show you guys the technique of swiping and scooping before we go ahead and apply. So when we're volume lashing, it's really important that we don't dip into our adhesive because when we do that, our glue travels up the extension and we'll close it. Now it's not gonna close on these pre-mates because they're heat bonded and so they're gonna stay, which is great. But if I were to do that same technique here with one of our handmade fans, let's pinch our base. And then if we dip completely in, that glue will eventually travel up and that fan will go to close. Um, so super important that when we make a handmade fan, we make it how we want it. Take your time on your fans, you guys. Get rid of anything you don't like. Pick up, pinch, do what you do. What's nice about these is if you don't like the way it turned out, you could drop it back down and then make it again how you want it. All right, so we're gonna take this fan here. My base is perfect, and I'm gonna swipe on the back, making sure you have just enough. We don't want too much, and you'll know if there's too much because you'll start to see that glue travel up your fan. And then we'll just drop it. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the same technique and apply it onto a doll head. Swiping method, you're swiping against the adhesive, applying it only to the back. This is best when you're dropping directly on top of the natural lash. And then again, you guys, picking up and you're scooping so that that adhesive is predominantly on the top of this extension. That way when you go underneath, it will attach nice and clean and you're not getting any stickies. Same technique goes for hand making these lashes here. You're gonna swipe or scoop. And when you're classic lashing, it is great to go ahead and drop into the glue, like I just told you not to do. But when you're classic lashing, that's fine. When you're volume lashing, you want to swipe on the back, making sure you have enough on there, dropping, and then scooping, same method. But let's go ahead and bring in the doll head so you guys can see it there. That way you guys can see the way it attaches onto the doll head. We're gonna focus on this eye here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the pre-made so you guys can see how easy these work, how they're not gonna close, how they're just really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and isolate on my doll head. And I'm gonna do the swiping. So I'm swiping on top of my glue, 
my extensions just going directly across the top. So my adhesive is on the back and I'm going to come up and gently drop it onto the natural lash. Like I said, this glue is two to three seconds, so it gives you a little bit of time to correct your lash. If it does fall off or it doesn't place correctly onto the natural lash, you have a little bit of room. Okay, so let's do that same technique, only this time we're gonna do the scooping and I'm gonna show you how I apply directly underneath the extension with enough adhesive. So we are gonna come here. I like to isolate first and I'm gonna scoop forward. So you can see my glue is on top and then I'm going to come directly underneath and hold that extension there. And I do like to push up after I get it on there just to make sure it's not stuck to the pad um, and it's on the natural lash perfectly. Okay, so these are my two favorite techniques. I've been using these techniques. I teach this technique in my classes because I find that it is very forgiving. We don't like stickies, we wanna avoid those. And the only reason we're getting stickies is because you're using too much glue. So swiping and scooping, I'm telling you guys, implement this into your lashing. You're gonna see a big difference. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the same technique, but I'm gonna do it with a handmade fan from our OG collection and this technique can be used with traditional volume lashes, easy fan lashes, pre-made, doesn't matter. This technique is amazing. You guys need to implement it into your, the way you lash, because it will help you and it'll save you a lot of time, especially if you struggle with stickies at all. Here, I'm gonna swipe against. Again, this is if we're dropping on top, you're swiping to the back. Now, a few points of when you should know you're using too much adhesive. Your fan is closing. You're seeing buildup of glue on your lash extension. You should never see like a clump of adhesive on your extension. You're using too much at that point. Um, if your fan is closing, if you're doing them in too many spots where you're starting to see just chunks of glue, you guys gotta watch that. So this is a good technique to use because you know, you're know you're seeing how much glue you're putting on and you're, you're aware of it because you know, you're doing a certain technique, so you're swiping or you're scooping. I do this every time I lash, and I have zero problems with stickies. I have zero problems with, you know, clumps of glue. So this is the best technique out there. All right, let's do some underneath, because I get a lot of questions on how do you apply underneath your extension, or under your natural lash with the extension. So isolate first always when we're volume lashing. And it's not always key to go underneath. You want to apply underneath when it fits, like it feels right, it fits right, especially on curly lashes, you always wanna go underneath. So you wanna make sure that you can ride it underneath the extension and you have to hold it there and make sure it dries and then kinda just go behind it and tap it and make sure that it is attached. And sometimes it'll take a minute. See, this is why I don't always pl apply underneath. Sometimes I try it and for some reason, if it doesn't attach nicely, then I'll do it on top. But see, we got it. It just kind of takes a little bit sometimes to get it to attach nicely. And then make sure you don't pull out too quick or you will knock it off. So you wanna make sure your glue is dry. So let's do it again. So underneath, I would always recommend on curly extension or natural lashes because it's just the easiest to get behind. 99% um, of the time, I'm usually applying on top, unless again, it doesn't attach for some reason, then I will go ahead and try from behind. But you just have to apply some pressure upward and make sure that it's bonded nice. All right, Lash Fam, that's gonna bring this video to an end. I hope you guys loved it and learned something new. If you guys wanna shop any of our products, you guys can hit this link right here, shop on our website. You can also download our app where you get exclusive deals and app only. If you guys wanna know what products we're using in the video, check out the description down below. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, join our Lash Family, and we'll be back for more videos.